Prelude. After the Ottoman Empire's entry into the First World War, Britain dispatched Indian Expeditionary Force D to seize control of the Shat al Arab and the port of Basra in order to safeguard British oil interests in the Persian Gulf. Eventually, the Anglo Indian Force's mission evolved into the capture of Baghdad. However, despite victories at Kurna, Nazir Yair, and Es Shin, the primary offensive component of IEF, D, the 6th Division withdrew southwards after the Battle of C.T. Siphon. The Ottoman forces in the region, reinforced and emboldened by the withdrawal from the gates of Baghdad, pursued the Anglo-Indian force to the town of Qut al-Amara, strategically situated at the confluence of the Shat al-Hay and the Tigris River. The commander of the Pune division decided to defend the town. On 15 December 1915, Ottoman troops had surrounded the Anglo-Indian force of about 10,000 men at the town of Qut al-Amara. The British commander Major General Charles Townshend called for help and the commander of the Mesopotamian Theatre General Sir John Nixon began assembling a force of 19,000 men to relieve the besieged forces. This relief force, designated as the Tigris Corps, initially consisted of two divisions, 3rd Division and 7th Division, as well other units available in the region. This relief force, commanded by Lieutenant General Fenton Aylner, suffered two setbacks during its initial January 1916 offensive. After these defeats, the relief force was ordered once again to attempt to break through the Ottoman lines and continued its movement up the Tigris until it encountered 30,000 men of the Ottoman 6th Army. Under the command of Khalil Pasha, at the Hanna Defile, 30 miles down river of Qut al Amara. Battle. After a short bombardment on 20 and 21 January 1916, the 7th Division charged the Ottoman lines. In an advance across 600 yards of flooded no man's land, the British sustained 2,700 casualties. The well-prepared Ottoman positions, notably the well-sighted machine gun nests, forced him to abandon the assault and withdraw the relief force to the base of Ali Garbi. Aftermath, medical care was practically non-existent, and the night after the attack saw freezing temperatures. Many British wounded suffered unnecessarily, and morale plummeted. The besieged garrison in Qut al Amara could hear the distant sound of the fighting relief force, and when it remained distant, morale there suffered as well. Despite two more relief attempts, the garrison at Qut al Amara was forced to surrender to the Ottoman forces on 29 April 1916.